Greetings. This video will likely be related to the previous two videos in some sense, as well as a video that will appear after this video. And I want to talk about two main issues in this video. The first issue being the omission of facts and the willingness to not address uh, certain points as they stand. And this, of course, related uh, to a great degree to my video about operating off of pure abstraction. And the other uh, element is the notion of looking for the, the silver bullet cure or solution uh, to all of our woes. Now, I want to begin this video with a little bit of an anecdotal story, but one that have, I've borne witness to and has repeated itself so often that it's, it's almost become a truism. Not too long ago, there was a gentleman uh, whose name I shall not reveal, who appeared from the Destiny server in the cafe. And granting him the probability or the possibility that he wasn't a troll and he wasn't trying to stir up trouble, he was asking questions about genetic population variation. Now, he didn't phrase it in those terms. He was asking about race, right? And I happened to arrive at the scene, and people had asked me or requested that I give my explanation of how I understand these things. And I gave the simplest, most easily understandable explanation, multiple explanations, actually, possible. And he, he continued to pretend to not understand. And if not pretend, maybe he just didn't. This gentleman claimed to have no knowledge of biology and genetics. So the context of my explanation was effectively a lost cause because I was explaining things with terminology that must be understood relating to basic biology. And the uh, nature of human genetic diversity, HBD, human biodiversity, differences between populations, and suggesting even the possibility that different populations, depending on what their genes are and uh, the genetic trends we can observe might well produce different civilizations. I did not say this with any uh, definitude, but nonetheless, I suggested this. And he, he's just in the state of bafflement. But he did concede he didn't know anything about genetics or biology for that matter. And this isn't the first time. There is a problem afoot in the internet amongst all these factions who like to fight each other and engage in quote unquote debate inasmuch as many times, perhaps often, perhaps even most of the time, one side or the other side is not willing to engage the other side on the, the information, on the data that they're presenting. The one a major attempt at doing this uh, resulted in, in large failure due to a number of reasons. Uh, yes, I am talking about uh, urban tea because there was just a lot of di disingenuous nonsense going on there. But the problem I see, and it's growing, is that we have all these factions and people don't actually want to engage each other on the data points. Now, traditionally, uh, this is sort of uh, a conundrum that exists between those op opposing the alt-right, which say the alt-right might bring up some points, no one wants to challenge them. But I have observed this um, in semi-private uh, between a, an associate of mine uh, who wanted to bring up specific data points challenging a certain alt-right-leaning presenter uh, that were never addressed, and the, the person just dismissed him as wasting his time without ever addressing his data points. So it really goes both ways. Uh, we are, of course, on the Internet uh, locked in an ideological battle uh, against each other. I, I'd like to think I'm an outsider here, and I don't despite what people might attribute to me. I'm not part of that battle. But if this guy from Destiny Server, or if the guy the guys from the Liberalists, or if the guys from whatever whatever faction there might be who feel affinity and kinship for each other, intellectually or otherwise, cannot address certain points and then just resort to complete omission or uh, dumbfounded questions, this is going to go nowhere. It doesn't help the cause of people on the left to claim that HBD doesn't exist. Um, 
it would even be better for them to claim that it exists, but it didn't matter. Although they would have to, I think they would have to justify why it didn't matter. But as it stands now, there's hardly any recognition at all. The question is, then, what do you do with that? Well, this is related to what I talked about in the previous video of intellectual crowdfunding. I don't see anything really productive going on at the internet, to be perfectly honest. Every now and then there are interesting discussions, but people are in it to win brownie points with their respective crowds, acolytes, followers, whatever, subscribers. They're not in it to present accurate information. Um, in fact, uh, I've seen or listened to rather uh, a prominent person from the alt-right factions say that he has no problem making use of propaganda. This does not strike me as a data-driven person who's primarily about interest, understanding the facts and, and trying to understand and the world as, as best as possible. And this brings me to my, my next or my final point. One thing I think that all of these factions have in common is what I would call the silver bullet solution. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure most of you do, I'm using the silver bullet here as a metaphor or analogy for the, the slaying of the werewolf or perhaps the vampire that's more common in most lycanthropes that werewolves uh, cannot truly be slain uh, efficient or at least efficiently by conventional weapons made of iron or steel or wood. No, they require uh, something made of silver. And if you fire the silver bullet and you hit the werewolf in the heart or even not in the heart, you might injure it and what have you and, and you can actually kill the werewolf. If you look at society's problems as a werewolf in this context, that's basically what, we're, what, what the solutions thus far have been. They're silver bullet solutions. Uh, the current dogma of our age, the sort of multiculturalism, liberalism, is in a nutshell a silver bullet solution. The idea that all this will just result in something good for everybody and it'll somehow work out. It's never explained how it will work out, but it, it just will. And then there's there are a million offshoots and varieties of that. From the liberalists, it's this sort of abstract principle of liberalism and how everyone needs to strive for that. Um, and for the alt-right, it's just, you know, race is real, race is destiny. I don't think any of these perspectives, all these perspectives have a kernel of truth to them to, to some degree, yet none of them are integrated with each other. And they're all sort of one shoe, shoe size fits all uh, solutions, silver bullet solutions, magical solutions. Given the complexity of human nature in society, there's no way that any one particular ideological bent will be the, the catch-all uh, solution to our problems that we're facing. This will require some of the things I brought up in the previous video, you know, independent research, scientists, thinking men, doing work, trying to understand how the data interact with each other, and perhaps for the first time in perhaps decades, actually applying uh, scientific results and data to in the form of public policy or what have you. But hmm, LARPing on, on just one point and, and, and saying my way or the highway is not going to get us there. And we, we think it's almost axiomatic, I think, that we should reject silver bullet solutions to complex problems. Uh, because every time a silver bullet solution has been presented historically, it hasn't worked out particularly well. Something got done, yeah, but uh, it came at tremendous cost, if, and perhaps a cost too, too high, depending on your interpretation of events uh, and the data and the history. So we're at this critical juncture right now, and it's something that we uh, all need to think about in great detail. The groups that are engaging with each other need to actually stop omitting things and engage with the data points the others are making and uh, strive not to produce or uh, propagate propaganda. And yeah, we all need to be aware that there will be no silver bullet solution to these growing problems, particularly the demographic issue. And I, I'm going to save that for a separate discussion with another gentleman, but there is a problem of multiculturalism. There is a problem of people not getting along with each other. The question is, how do we uh, solve this? 
And the answer to that, the, the answer that will probably be the, the best answer that will involve the least violence and the least conflict will be a lot more complex than what, what any side out there is presenting. It will not be a silver bullet solution. Anyway, I didn't want to make this too long. I wanted to more or less quickly present these points because they are very important. People who have no knowledge of biology and then attempt to enter discussions about things and then ask questions that are baffling, this is not helpful. Uh, people who ignore other people's points of view or just don't look at the, the, the data points they're bringing up, also not helpful. And to, uh, to quote Robert Tepper, there's no easy way out. Uh, and we need to bear that in mind going forward. Uh, there'll be more to come. Ho I hopefully shall have some talks uh, prepared for the weekend some, with some interesting guests. Uh, and until then, may the gods watch over you. And if I'm still alive, uh, I shall live to record them. You take care and bye-bye. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.